someone you are <laughs> So today I'm doing a very exciting video. In this video, I'm gonna be trying out Shop Miss A makeup. If you've never heard of Shop Miss A, it's basically known for having $1 makeup from different brands. I bought all this stuff with my own money. Shop Miss A has no idea who I am or that I'm doing this video, so just putting that out there. So this makeup is a dollar in US and a dollar thirty in Canadian, and I bought like a lot of makeup. If you guys want to see my unboxing of this makeup, I made a vlog channel. You guys have been asking me a lot to make a vlog channel, so I finally did, and the first video on this there is a unboxing of this makeup so if you want to check that out I'll link it down below be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel if you want to see some more casual videos of me or some daily vlogs whatever you know I haven't really decided what I'm gonna be posting on there but I know that I'm gonna get into it also I just quickly want to say the reason that I'm doing this video is because I want to see if there's more affordable options for makeup lovers because I know we all can't afford the really expensive brands so I'm gonna see if we can find some affordable options to do our makeup and still look glam so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to start off by using is this AOA Studio Wonder Skin Poreless Primer. So obviously poreless primer, this is going to help with pores hopefully and just like making the makeup sit better. Oh, it feels like really, really like smooth. It doesn't really feel like silicone-y and like a little goes a long way. It feels a bit tacky just after like a couple seconds of having it on. I'm gonna try and really make all these products work because I want more affordable alternatives for you guys. So let's hope, like fingers crossed that these are awesome. Like I don't want to not like them. Okay, so I have two foundations to choose from. I have the Santi Liquid Foundation. What shade is this? This is in the shade five. I'm pretty sure I bought both of the lightest colors, but I might be wrong because this one looks very dark. This is the LA Colors Liquid Makeup, and this is in the shade Natural. So these shades both look a little dark for me. So I'm gonna go with this one just because it matches my neck a bit better. I'm a bit nervous though. Okay, it feels like it's gonna be really thick, and it's going to be the wrong color, but I'll just blend it down my neck and like pretend. Also for a dollar, I got this Imitation Beauty Blender. It honestly feels like just like a beauty blender, so I'm gonna go wet this and we'll see how much it grows. Here is the beauty blender after I wet it. It grew like two times the size. I don't know, I always think that's interesting. This primer is completely smooth now and it feels like it did smooth my skin out pretty good. So that color doesn't look too bad in the camera, but it is dark okay so this looks like it has quite a bit of coverage the smell doesn't really matter that much like it's not super overpowering but it kind of smells like old perfume I'm just gonna take more foundation and usually this would be good but I want to blend it down my neck because as you can see there's a bit of a difference you just got to commit to the wrong shade I'm honestly not hating it if it was the right shade. In the camera, actually, I look kind of washed out, so it looks a better shade. I will say, though, this looks like it's kind of an oily finish. So if you have oily skin, you might not want this because it might just add to the oil. Next, we're going to take this 3-in-1 foundation stick, and I actually bought this in quite a dark shade. Why can't I open it? This was supposed to be like a dark shade, but it kind of looks like it was the shade of my foundation. Oh, wow. It's like very thick. And it's like the exact same shade. So this product was kind of a bust because it wasn't dark enough. Like in my normal makeup routine, I might try it, but for this one, it doesn't work because my skin is very dark right now. I have the AOA Studio Cover, oh, Wonder Cover HD Concealer. This one looks light enough that it could maybe balance out my skin to make it look more like my actual skin color. So let's see. Oh wow, that's a lot lighter than my foundation. Hopefully that'll help. I'm gonna use quite a bit of this. Usually I would not use this much makeup, but I'd like to kind of even it out. Oh wow, this concealer is a bit tough to blend, but we're getting it. This concealer sets quick, so don't let it sit too long once you have it on, otherwise it's kind of hard to blend. Like that's what I'm experiencing right now. Oh yeah. That helped a bit. So there, now the concealer is blended in. Just wanna say that I give this beauty blender an A+. If you guys don't wanna spend like $30 on a beauty blender, get this one. So the next thing I got is this contour kit, and honestly, this feels like it was like built well. It's like tin, and inside it's just got this, which honestly is really helpful to a lot of people who don't exactly know where to contour. Here are the shades. They're a bit light, but I definitely think they're gonna help us. First, I'm just gonna set under my eyes with this banana color, and then this kind of fleshy tone and I hope that this will set my under eyes and it looks like it is and in my smile lines I like to set 
I'm gonna take this darkest contour color and I'm gonna try and bronze up my face a bit even though I honestly don't really need bronzing. I'm gonna do it anyway. The very warm colored bronzer. So if you like the cool tones, you might wanna go for more like this shade rather than this one. We're gonna bronze around the forehead. I'm gonna take that bronzer again and just contour my nose in just a tad. So here is the base of our makeup. I think that I'm gonna do highlight now because I'm just dying to see how this baby works. This is the AOA Wonder Baked Highlighter in the shade Snap. And this looks like a really, really pretty gold highlight. Sometimes with baked products, you have to scratch away the top layer. So if we have to do that, I will. But let's just see. Ooh. So now I'm just gonna take it on my finger and just boop it on my nose, just like boop, boop. Honestly, the fact that every single product on my face right now was a dollar has me shook. Now let's move on to eyebrows. I have three different eyebrow products to choose from. I don't know if I want to use a mousse or if I want to try one of their pencils. I think I might want to try one of the pencils. I'm gonna grab the one in Ash Blonde. I'm not a huge fan of just this. I just can't get a swift line with that triangle end. So I'm gonna move into this uh, pomade. Okay, I just moved in a bit closer so you guys can see a bit better. Feels a bit waxy, which I honestly don't mind. I didn't mind the waxiness until my brush started kind of getting caught in my eyebrow hair. You just have to like kind of work with the product a bit. I'm not super happy with this eyebrow, but what you gonna do? So I have this LA Colors Matte Shadows and I'm gonna take this dark one and just try and fix this brow quickly. Okay, so this is as good as the eyebrows are gonna get. Honestly, they're not that bad. I would definitely give this a thumbs up to try it. Just know that it's very waxy. So now I'm gonna take this concealer I talked about earlier just to sculpt my brows, just cause it feels like more of a thicker concealer. Okay, so I got this eye primer and it is in the shade 02. Oh wow, this is pretty. This is actually so pretty, it almost looks like rose gold. Okay, so now I'm just gonna crack into my Amuse eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna take this shimmery color. Let's see. Okay, oh, I really like the way that looks. Quickly, I'm just gonna deepen up my crease with these matte colors. So I'm just gonna work those in real quick here. She ain't bad. Are you ready to shine? Believe it or not, you guys were adding another color into the mix. This chocolate color, this is pretty. Look how big these pans are too. Like if these work, it's worth the money. Or maybe this one. This is kind of shiny though. Oh wow, it's not really showing up. I got three different eyeliners. I think I'm gonna try and use this one just cause I'm more used to like felt tips. It was really easy to wing with this liner just cause it kind of like flicked itself. Okay, so next I have this mascara. Oh my gosh, this mascara looks like a banana to me. I don't know. The thing that worries me is the thing is so big. I used to use really thick wanded mascaras and then I kind of stopped. So now I'm going back. Oh my gosh. So I have two different lashes. They're both from AOA Studio. I don't know, the Alexis look too big for me, but they just look fun. So let's do it. Just gonna let them dry. These are like lashes I've never worn before. They're so big. I mean, like that's what I expected from them, but they just look, I've never really seen like this big of eyelashes on me. Okay, so here are the Alexis eyelashes. Wow. All right, you guys, this look is almost complete. The last thing we gotta do is lips. And I have these three products. I have a lip liner and I did not mean to get it in this shade. That's too dark for me, but I could make it work with this. It's not gonna be too bad. I'm a nude lip wearing type of girl, but this isn't looking half bad, I guess. I'm nervous to try this. This is the AOA liquid lipstick. Oh, sorry, Wonder Matte liquid lipstick in the shade Drama. Oh, wow. I think this is a really fun fall look. I don't know, I'm actually really, really happy with how it turned out. So I hope this helped you guys out if you're looking for some more inexpensive makeup, if you can't afford the really expensive stuff or you just don't want to buy really expensive stuff. Hopefully this helped you guys. We did a full face with it. I mean, if that isn't proof enough that this makeup does good, I don't know what is. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button because it would make me very happy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!